the Event Horizon Telescope, and the James Webb Space Telescope, both of which are operated by NASA, will collaborate in order to discover the Milky Way's supermassive black hole. On remote mountaintops all over the world, scientists are waiting for confirmation that tonight is the night. The challenging coordination between dozens of telescopes on the ground and in space has been successfully finished. The forecast calls for bright skies, and any technical concerns that arose have been resolved. In other words, the proverbial stars are aligned. The time has come to investigate the supermassive black hole located at the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. This scheduling Sudoku, as the astronomers refer to it, takes place each day of each observation campaign by the Event Horizon Telescope Partnership. And they will soon have a new participant to figure in because the James Webb Space Telescope from NASA will be joining the effort. Astronomers will use the infrared imaging power of Webb to address some of the unique and persistent challenges presented by the black hole at the center of the Milky Way, which is known as Sagittarius A star. This will take place during the first set of observations that Webb will conduct. In 2017, the Event Horizon Telescope was able to take the historic first image of the region immediately surrounding a supermassive black hole in the galaxy M87 by combining the imaging capabilities of eight different radio telescope facilities located throughout the planet. Sagittarius A star is closer but less bright than the black hole in M87, and the distinctive flickering flares in the material surrounding it change the pattern of light on an hourly basis, which presents difficulties for astronomers. According to astronomer Farad Youssef Zadeh, a professor at Northwestern University and the principal investigator on the James Webb Space Telescope program to observe Sagittarius A star. Our galaxy's supermassive black hole is the only one known to have this kind of flaring. And while that has made capturing an image of the region very difficult, it also makes Sagittarius A star even more scientifically interesting. The flares are caused by the momentary but tremendous acceleration of particles around the black hole to significantly higher energy, which is accompanied by light emission of the same wavelength. When studying Sagittarius A star with the Webb telescope, one of the major benefits is the capacity to capture data in two different infrared wavelengths, F210M and F480M, concurrently and constantly, which is made possible by the fact that the telescope is located beyond the moon. Webb will have an unobstructive perspective, allowing it to see cycles of flaring and quiet that the Event Horizons telescope team may use as a reference with their own data, ultimately resulting in a cleaner image. There is a great deal of controversy around the origin or mechanism of Sagittarius A flares in the future study of black holes, particle and plasma physics, and even flares from the sun. The answers to questions about how Sagittarius A star flares begin, peak, and disperse could have far-reaching ramifications for the field. These implications could even include how flares originate from the sun. According to Sarah Markov, an astronomer who works on the Webb Sagittarius A star research team and who is presently serving as vice chairwoman of the EHT's Science Council, black holes are just cool. The reason that scientists and space organizations from all over the world invest so much effort into studying black holes is because they are the most extreme conditions in the known universe, where we can put our fundamental ideas, like general relativity, to the test in a practical setting. In a sense, black holes are the opposite of what their name implies. Rather than an empty hole in space, Black holes are the most densely packed regions of matter that are known to exist. Black holes were predicted by Albert Einstein as part of his general theory of relativity. Any substance that gets too close to a black hole is permanently trapped there, along with any light that the material emits. This is because the gravitational field that surrounds a black hole is so powerful that it warps the fabric of space around itself. 
Because of this, black holes have a dark appearance. Any light that is picked up by telescopes does not originate from the actual black hole, but rather from the region that surrounds it. The scientists refer to the very last part of the innermost edge of that light as the event horizon. This is also where the name of the Event Horizon Telescope Partnership comes from. The first direct visual verification that Einstein's prediction of a black hole was right came in the form of a picture captured by the Event Horizon Telescope EHT, of the galaxy M87. Scientists hope that carefully scheduled multi-wavelength observations of Sagittarius A star by EHT, Webb, X-ray, and other observatories will narrow the margin of error on general relativity calculations, or perhaps point to new realms of physics that we do not currently understand. Black holes continue to serve as a testing ground for Einstein's theory. Both Markov and Zeta made the point that this is really the beginning of the process, and that it is possible that the prospect of new understanding or new physics might be quite thrilling. It will take some time. At first, it is highly unlikely that we will have more questions than answers, Markov stated. It is the intention of the Sagittarius A-Star research team to submit a request for additional time with Webb in the years to come, in order to observe additional flaring occurrences, compile a knowledge base, and identify patterns in what appear to be random flares. After gaining this knowledge through the study of Sagittarius A star, it will be applied to other black holes in order to determine what aspects are basic to their nature as opposed to those aspects that make each individual black hole special. The astronomers are in agreement that the difficult scheduling Sudoku will go on for some time, but that it is worthwhile to put up the effort. Zeta stated that seeking for truth is the most honorable thing that mankind are capable of doing. It's just the way we are. Because we are part of the cosmos, we are interested in gaining an understanding of how it operates. The answers to some of these fundamental mysteries may lie within black holes. From within our solar system to the most distant, detectable galaxies in the early cosmos and everything in between, the James Webb Space Telescope will serve as the preeminent space science observatory for the next decade and examine every phase of cosmic history. Webb will make new and unexpected discoveries, and it will assist humankind in better comprehending the beginnings of the cosmos, as well as our place within it. NASA, along with its partners at the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency, is the organization in charge of the Webb International Program. What do you think about this event? Will the James Webb Space Telescope shine a new light on this M87 black hole investigation? Thank you for watching the video till the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for the latest space news and James Webb Space Telescope updates. We are sure you'll love the following video. Click on the video on the screen to continue to be amazed at everything about space travel.